Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here. It is finally a beautiful day here in Montreal after seven days, exactly a week. Every freaking day was cloudy and we never had a full sunny day and so far it's still uh, morning here. Today is January 11th and you can see I'm freaking poor because I, I practically don't have a view out of my window. But anyway, I like the details in them old bricks and especially the uh, iconic uh, uh, lamp lamp posts here in Montreal in the part of town I am here in Hochelaga and uh, I want to of course uh, take the opportunity uh, take the opportunity also to wish you guys uh, Happy New Year to all you all the best in 2019 and uh, um, yeah I want to show you guys quickly some of the stuff I got on my wall here in my office uh, most of this stuff you know, our uh, original pictures I've taken, or in this case, a painting here, 49 Cadillac. I made that, uh, I don't know, uh, pfft, about eight years ago or so. And uh, so if I price these things reasonably there, there's an original 66 Corvair ad I saved, which the left edge was not in good condition. So I took an edge from another ad and just basically taped it from the back with masking tape. There's a 59 Cadillac I took a picture of in Bridgeport, Connecticut in 2000 or 99. Look at that. Here's one of my photos again, 8x12, that I put in a 11 by 14 inch frame. It's a 58 to 60 Corvette in uh, right off Santa Monica Boulevard in Beverly Hills in 2006. Anyway, yada yada yada, fantastic 1963 Cadillac ad with a 38 International Truck ad. And uh, I've seen these guys before, and I can't believe nobody ever bought this painting. Whatever. Anyway, if I lived in New York, I would have sold it uh, probably the, within months of making it. Making it. All right. So, on to the new project. Right on. Da 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 da. Um, yeah, there it is. Now, in my last video I did of the uh, the 38 Chevy painting finishing, I mentioned I was going to do a a drawing for one of my subscribers. Well, I don't know if I I, I meant to say a guy I'm subscribed to. I actually don't know if if he subscribed to me, but he probably is because we're kind of friends there. But uh, yeah, if you know this car and you know that sign, that's right. That's Nick's 70 Dodge Challenger RT convertible. Very rare, original black with red interior. Very rare for uh, a lot of cars for that color combination, especially in those years. Um, and uh, I, he gave me this picture which before had a bunch of white edges on it especially these thick one inch edges on the right and left I didn't like that so I just cut that all off and he gave me this years ago when he was at this garage uh, I don't know up until a few years ago and uh, this was in the plateau sector of Montreal and uh, he gave me this picture he's like hey Elton he's like how about you draw my car I'll pay you or whatever so he said something along those lines and I never did I didn't take him seriously I don't know why I guess uh, I think it was because uh, well aside from being a pothead I never uh, uh, was a big fan of doing um, you know artwork for people's cars frankly but I'm like, you know what, I, I was looking at it one day, I'm like, hey, this is actually pretty straightforward. I don't have to draw the front or back of it. So right there, that saves work. The building is very simple. I'm going to have to get a few markers. Uh, but frankly, I have to tell you guys something. I know you enjoyed this, these videos I did of, uh, you know, me drawing uh, freehand, uh, sketching, as one of you guys had suggested, like the street scene drawing here, which is, by the way, still available. Make me an offer. Come on down to buy it if you want. Make me a reasonable offer. And this one I made also, you know, the Porsche uh, here at like a beach. But the thing is that those I don't, those are not planned drawings. They're not. I'm not doing that for precision. So, uh, you know, this is a different story. I want to do this so I get paid for it, not just because it's fun, but you know, because I said I was going to do it also. And I don't like. I, look, I, for one thing, I don't have a tripod. And uh, I, oh Christ, I almost bought one last week. This guy was looking at one in a second hand store. He was looking at it for more than five minutes. I think ten minutes. And I was buzzing around the store to see if he was going to buy it or not. And then finally he decided to buy it. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so you know photographic equipment isn't cheap, you know. But anyway, the thing is that I'm like, uh, you know, again, like to go back to what I'm saying. So I had the, you know, before I, when I was doing the, the these two drawings, I had the uh the camera set up on uh on the light switch on a lamp like this well, with another lamp with an articulating arm that and the black switch the switch for the on and off switch was on the top 
and then I put the camera on there but the camera fell off once and that's not the first time I drop it so it's well made and uh, so I don't know if I want to do that again and like I'm trying to say God, sometimes I have trouble expressing myself like it's like I get too many fucking thoughts at the same time uh, but um, yeah the thing is that I, when you're you know for one thing it's relaxing and it's fun to draw something and I don't have to you know uh, watch what I say but also because it's more interesting it's more of pleasure for me to have the music on over there and you know be able to concentrate on this so I think what I'm gonna do is you're not gonna watch me draw the whole thing I'm gonna just film a few second sections you know so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off and then I'm gonna you know film a bit of it me drawing because like there's no way I'm gonna uh, film uh, the whole thing being drawn and it's just you know, it, it, it's it's not, um, and also you have to be mindful also since nobody's filming, uh, since Ryan flaked out there, that's what he does, unfortunately. Uh, uh, but, you know, I mean, um, I, you know, well, flaked out, I mean, the guy fucking lives on the other side of the island, for Christ's sake. But uh, anyway, uh, so, you know, um, I'm like, eventually I will have to get a tripod and, uh, um, you know, it's not the same, even if I have a tripod, to have the, you have to be zoomed in at a certain angle. You know, it's got to be like something like this. And I'm going to be drawing a certain section, and then it's like, maybe I'll move here. See what I'm saying? It's not, it, it doesn't seem, it seems like a, the kind of thing that would be hard to do, but it's not that easy, actually, to, to film myself draw. So, that's going to be in spurts, and, uh, but again, I think if I put enough work into it hard enough, I should have it done probably in a couple weeks, maximum. Anyway, so I'm going to set this up and I'm going to do a little drawing. Alright, that looks good. Okay. Right, to the right, to the right. Yeah, there was another reason why I didn't want to, uh, I wasn't sure about wanting to film more, do more of these videos of you, of you guys watching me draw is because you know, I like to have music playing. Music is essential when you're doing a lot of things. For me, music is everything. I don't care if I'm doing the dishes or, or, or you know, uploading, uh, I don't know, uploading videos or putting stuff for sale on Kijiji, but drawing, especially things like this, where you're creative, I have that music. So that's why these, you know, where you're gonna watch me draw these, these, these types of uh, videos, like if I'm doing a car for somebody, like this is serious stuff, you know, I'm not doodling here. It's gonna be really uh, minimal. So as you can see, I've already taken a few minutes to um, to draw the uh, most of the some of the body here on this uh, challenger, and uh, now uh, you know it's funny because when I was a kid, it was not easy for me for the longest time to actually draw uh, to actually have a body centered. Um, yeah, this is not the best quality print. I don't know if you noticed that. It's not very sharp. You know, it's made from a digital picture. But anyway, it wasn't um, it wasn't easy to get a to make a car or truck or whatever to draw it and actually be all in the picture. Actually, you know, maybe not perfectly centered, but close enough. You know, like even looking at this picture, this is not perfectly centered over here. There's more of a gap towards the edge than on this side. So I'm trying to put it like even steam in or close. I'm noticing a little error I made here is my little, this part right here, the red stripe here, this is actually supposed to be a little bit longer. So, yeah, that's too bad. I think I'm going to try to make that a little bit longer. I may have to actually use paint also to, I think, fix this mistake. And the bumper also has to be a little bit longer as well. See, that's why it's not easy to draw when you're, especially when you're like me and you're perfectionist. You know, it's not, uh, you know, there's no, how should I say this, you, you give yourself a certain standard of how, of how you do things and you're not going to accept less. You know, of course, there's a point where, you know, you realize, okay, like, you know, this is good enough, this is fine, you know, this will do the trick, so to speak, you know. Put the windshield here a little bit. So you see I'm not I'm not tracing anything. Everything here is freehand. Yeah. And uh, I want to get a look more on this hood over here. 
Get that, keep going on that, get, get, get that, get, 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 get it, get it going out, get it going down there. Okay, like this. And then there's this drop over here, right here. Oh, I don't know if I did that right, but. And then this crease, huh? The famous Dodge Challenger crease, which is not even as much of a crease in the modern. Uh, you know, 2009 and up version, but it's still a very cool car compared to all the other boring cars there are today. This is one of the hardest things you can do. For me, this is the thing I've always had that was always the most challenging. When you're drawing car, when you're drawing vehicles, is to actually start the drawing. Where you're actually, and it's funny because usually I start with the wheels. I don't know why I did it. I started with the body, but either way, to get your correct perspective, to get the vehicle uh, correctly in the on the paper, it's not cut off. But you see, even here, I'm not. It's not perfect. It's not a, again. I'm not tracing. This is not. A very obvious thing to do, you know, and uh, so even wheels are, are, are very can be very difficult uh, to draw to do drawing of uh, or even paint because it's so round. It has to be perfectly round, you know. So I'm, I'm, I guess I'm kind of putting that off for for the moment, you know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on this. Uh, uh, I'm going to stop right here on this molding here uh, rocker panel. I mean. Now all this here, this overdrawing here, like stuff, don't we have to worry about that because I'm going to fix that because this is all going to be black anyway. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop right at this rocker panel. And see this goes, see there's a, again, there's a theme here where, that's what's great about the body being black is that if I make a mistake on the, on the, uh, the wheel wells, on the fenders, it's not, it's not a huge deal, I can fix it. And I'm looking at this here, and there's so many curves on these cars. You know, that's what makes them so goddamn sexy and beautiful. And I'm noticing, see, this one I can see is okay. This one, I might have made it uh, a little too big. I don't know. To look at that. Because of the angle here, you can see the wheel, rear wheel wheel and the fender and the the wheel well all look bigger than the front. There's a there's kind of a um, a wide angle uh, shot to this, so it doesn't actually matter. Come to think of it, if I make this a little bit smaller, you know. I can admit it. I'm hard on myself, you know. I I, uh, I want things to look correct, you know. What the hell's the matter with that? Huh? Yeah, Nick knows what I mean. This guy's a perfectionist. I mean, look at the work he did on that Challenger, and and the current work. And it's actually kind of uh, ironic that I'm doing this because uh, I think he restored this car in uh, 2003 or something. And now he's restoring another Challenger, a 70 Challenger, but a coupe in white, just like the one in Vanishing Point. So I got Vanishing Point nonstop in my head now, <laughs> thinking about that movie. Just funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot the. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of a lift in the hood here, right? So we'll go like this. Do that. 
There's a raised part of the hood over here also. So we've got a there we go. Right. What a boat, eh? Compared to today's car, this is a boat, man, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. And you know what? I just noticed something else here. I should have done better. Let's make this a little bit more. Yeah, alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop filming this here and see what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Coffee Talk. I'll give you a, 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 something to talk about. The internal combustion engine was neither co internal or combustible. Yeah, I got my good coffee there. That's an SNL reference, by the way. Oh, hey, Gloria. Hmm? Meow. Come on, meow. Yeah, it's because she just had a nice long slumber on the couch. Well, this is going well. Um, this is going very well. Uh, I was even just thinking about it right now as I was making my coffee. I'm like, maybe I could even do a little drawing while holding the camera this way. That way you get more of my perspective, you know. And then I'm going to wrap it up because, um, yeah, then I'm going to go uh, get a rendezvous. Yeah, so uh, I don't feel like going into that right now. <laughs> Quite frankly, let's... let's um, a little work on this tire here. Oops, sorry. I read the news today, oh boy, about a lucky man that made the great. I think I just noticed what my error is here with the top of my front fender. You know what it is? It's that. See how it's really and has a really nice slow progressing curve downward. Yeah, that's where I fucked up right there. So I need to, I need to make it. Let me just see. This is not that easy. Yeah, let's see. I think if I just come out, make her come down a little bit steadily, steadily curving downward. That's yeah, not easy though. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, so that's how it's supposed to look, like that. Looks like I'm gonna have to. Um, oh man, even this actually shouldn't. Use, this is not even supposed to be here either. So, looks like I'm gonna have to get some paint. That's what I, I've never mentioned. You, some of you probably wonder too, like when I used to do serious drawings like this. Uh, oh, here's an example. When I started doing this, when I started uh, doing these larger drawings in color and detail, this is when I started, like '93, when I was 17. There's a '78 Volari Roadrunner. And a whole uh, street scene from my brain. But even at that time, when I made mistakes, I don't think I... I think it was at a certain point where I started using, like, liquid paper. You know? And it did the trick. So, uh, that's what I'm going to have to do here. Well, not use liquid paper, but I have, you know, acrylic paint. Art. I'm an artist, you know? And, um... Yeah, but that's going to be... Uh, oh, fuck Christ, that's going to be a bit of a bitch. Because I was planning to actually... You know, I'm, I'm well. I am planning to do this whole scene here with that old uh, Nick's old garage with the bars in the window. But uh, yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. But again, like as you can see, I'm happy to say it's going well, and I'm finding out it's not actually that easy to draw and concentrate. You know what bothers me? There's only one thing that really bothers me. It seems as if the door looks too long and you know what it's again because of that angle but it doesn't matter anyway because they were not short cars and anyway once all this is all colored you're not going to see this part anyway this you're going to barely see because again it'll be black but yeah I got a little trick, trick up my sleeve with that I also that might be a challenge but uh, uh, let me how about we just do this a little bit here this um a little bit of detail in this wheel, what do you say? Let's see if I can do that. Again, it's not easy to hold a camera and draw. I've never done this before. This is a, it's a little bit daunting. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, actually. It's too hard. I have to have my other hand rested. Cramp. Criminy. Yeah, 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 old, uh, 
Weren't they called rally wheels? I mean, you know, Chevrolet, they were rally wheels when they had, you had your optional mag wheels. Weren't they called rally wheels? I'm sure they're called sport wheels. That was the popular term for mag wheels that were optional on these cars and all kinds of cars because standard, what you had standard with a car like this, if it was basic and it was a non-RT, would have had hubcaps on, on steel rims. You could have even had a straight six, uh, a straight six, yeah, a slant six cylinder. Imagine that. I mean, that would have been uh, really something, you know. Ah, I love coffee. Look at that. There's an AMX there. That one's for you, Antoine. I'll tell you what, buddy. If you ever come down here, I'm gonna give you this cup. What? Si jamais tu viens faire un tour de Montréal, je vais te donner ça comme cadeau. One of a kind coffee mug avec mon dessin dessus. There's kind of a story behind that actually, but anyway, so uh, that's it for now, man. I'm happy to say it's going well, and uh, stay tuned. Um, shit, you know what? I knew it. I I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I'm looking at one thing I screwed up also here. I did not uh, put the windshield at an angle enough. Yeah. Christ. That's a major fuck up, actually. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, all right, now I'm going to fix it. So, uh, guys, take care, and um, stay tuned for more uh, very soon.